Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be feeding all of my pets in one video. So we are going to feed every single animal on the farm. So let's just jump straight into it. So we're going to start by feeding the chickens. So the chickens all have these feeders that when they stand on them they open up um, like so. But, the but we actually just put a brick on them because they don't really like doing that. So today they have been emptied and they're ready to be filled up. Normally we just fill them up when they're in their little enclosures. But today, but today I've brought them out because they needed cleaning because some of the food got wet yesterday. So we're going to start from afresh and I'll show you everything that the chickens get fed. So the first thing the chickens get is some Dodson and Horrell layers pellets. Um, so these are like the basis of their feed. This goes in every single one of their feeders and they get this every single day because it obviously helps them with producing their eggs. Next up we have the chickens corn. So this is just basic corn with things like sunflower seeds and peas and this is kind of like the favourite part of the chickens feed they don't get quite as much of this this is kind of like a treat for them but they really really enjoy it so I make sure that I mix this in with the pellets um, and they kind of like pick through it and choose which bits they want but this is definitely their favourite part And then finally we have some layers mash. Now we've just started recently giving this to them because they really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that's just the final thing that goes in and it's all mixed together. And then obviously it is time to put the feeders in with the chickens. So each set of chickens, we have three sets of chickens and they each have their own feeder. And then this is just literally topped up every day. Um, and then obviously change quite often. Because uh, you don't want to build up with any sort of moisture or anything in there. Otherwise you're going to end up with chickens with respiratory issues and things like that. So you have to keep an eye on that. But as you can see our chickens absolutely love this mix of feed. Um, we used to like scatter feed them and things like that. But we then had an issue with like mice and things. Um, so that's why it's all kind of fed in one big container now. Okay, so next up we have our two pet pigs, Primrose and Pickle. So our pet pigs are across their Cooney Cooney across Vietnamese. So Vietnamese is a very small type of pig and then Cooney Cooney isn't that small. But the feed that we give them is the Allen and Page Specialist Feeds. So this is actually for pop bellied pigs but it does say on it ideal for Cooney Coonies and all pet pigs. So that's why this is fed to them. So our piggies get fed twice a day, once in the morning and then once in an afternoon. So this is going to be their afternoon feed that we're giving them today. Um, and the pigs get super excited about their feed. So they're just like little pellets that they have. Um, this is basically the same food they've been having since they were babies. Um, so when we take this down, the peas get very excited and are normally already stood at their troughs um, awaiting it. And then they each get half a scoop in the morning and then half a scoop in the afternoon. So they actually get an entire scoop of feed a day. And they do also get vegetables, but we'll come on to them afterwards. Um, but literally the favourite time of day for the pigs is when they are eating. So they're really, really happy right now as you can tell um, and they eat quite quickly pigs will literally eat anything and the pig pellets are kind of the like basis of the pig's diet this is kind of the main thing they have um, to eat so then moving on to the pig's vegetables depending on the day um, depends on how much veg they have or what type of veg so it's normally just anything um, we've either grown on the farm or if we've got anything that's sort of looking a bit worse for wear in the fridge or kind of getting out of date. So today they had a broccoli, some celery and a white cabbage. So all I do is I just chop it up and pop it in a bucket. 
um, and take it down for them. So pigs can eat quite a lot of vegetables and um, there's not much a pig won't eat to be honest if you give them anything. Primrose decided to eat some paper the other day so yeah they will literally eat anything um, and my pigs really really love their vegetables. So anyway once I've chopped it all up it's then time to take it down for them. So I feed my pigs vegetables in three different ways sometimes they have it in their trough and um, if it's something um like lettuce or something like that that's kind of like blows everywhere and um, sometimes I scatter feed it which is what I'm going to do today and then sometimes they have it in their treat bowls so they've got like horse treat bowls and um, so if it's like carrot or anything hard like that it normally goes in treat bowls but today I scatter fed it in three various places so I either put some in their little I don't even know what you'd call it it's kind of like um the bottom of a water butt that they each have and um, some goes under their little logs that they all have and then I also pop some in their tires so this is just so that the piggies get kind of a bit more enrichment they have to go looking for their food and um, you know it's not just given to them and my pet pigs are very lazy so they don't spend that long foraging for their food so we can't put it in really difficult places um because they will literally just give up but they do enjoy that bit of enrichment it means that instead of like having nothing to do they've actually got something to do and like get a reward out of um exhibiting natural behaviors like sniffing around and moving things and um, as you can tell from the piggies paddocks they spend a lot of time sort of digging and things like that anyway um, but it does encourage them to exhibit natural behaviours which is nice and obviously they get their veggies which they absolutely love. Okay, so next up we have my four rabbits. So my four rabbits are fed on Chudley's rabbit nuggets so my rabbits get fed twice a day normally they get a little bit in the morning but then their main feed is in an afternoon um, and the reason they're fed twice a day is because of my bigger bunny Ariel so Ariel is um, my grey one and she's blind and deaf and she's very old she's 12 years old now so she has to have a lot of food because otherwise she really struggles with her weight so she gets two cups full um, on an evening in her little feeder and then my other bunnies tend to get about half a cup so this is Dottie she is quite overweight at the moment so she is on a slightly reduced dose but we are slowly seeing a little bit of weight loss from her um, but she is quite a fat bun and then next we have Nala who's also scatter fed but she's very elusive and just kind of made a slight appearance and then next up we have little Tallulah, so Tallulah only gets like a quarter of a cup really, she doesn't get half a cup just because she is a Neverland Dwarf cross, she is a much smaller breed than the others and she is also a bit on the chunky side um, and she gets hers in a bowl because she's a princess um, but yeah sometimes I scatter feed her, sometimes I put it in a bowl, I just kind of mix it up with Tallulah to be honest but Tallulah's generally not that fussed about food when you feed it like when you feed the other bunnies they go crazy for it but when you give it to Lula she just ignores it and just eats it when she wants because she is a diva um so tonight she wasn't bothered about it at all and just completely ignored the bowl so yeah that is all of the rabbits fed so moving on next we have my dog Balto so for those of you that don't know Balto is a two-year-old husky cross German Shepherd and we only recently got him so we're feeding him what his previous owner had him on we've not really looked at his diet too much at the moment so he is on Dr John Titanium um, which we have been told is a good feed we need to look into it a bit more but um, with the current sort of lockdown and everything we're just going to keep him on his feed because we've got a big old bag of it um, and you know we haven't really got time to be weaning him onto anything else um, so this is the food they're just literally normal kind of kidney shaped dog biscuits and he seems to enjoy it because he was quite underweight when we got him so Balto has his feed down um, 
during the day like pretty much all day because he only eats when he's comfortable so he has separation anxiety so he'll only eat when we're around or for some reason he'll eat on an evening when everyone's sat in the living room he'll like take himself off and eat like an entire bowl then I think it's just because he's comfortable that we're all in one place and that's kind of like his routine so that's when he eats so he doesn't really have a food time or a specific amount um at the moment because we need to get him He's on a really good like weight at the moment so if he starts kind of putting on a bit more weight um, then we'll start like rationing him and feeding him at certain times but at the minute he's selective eating just because he's settling in still and um, we have only had him a few weeks so yeah that's Balto and that's how we feed him currently. Okay so next up we have the six horses. Now I'm not going to go into everything that I feed the horses in their diet. If you want to see that then I have made a my horses diet or my horses what I feed my six horses. I think it's called something like that. So obviously my horses get fed a lot of hay throughout the day um, and hay and grass is like their main diet but they just kind of get three hay nets a day um, at the minute because the grass isn't coming through massively. Um, but then on an evening they get their solid feeds so on an evening i go onto the stables and the three horses are in and the three ponies live out and i mix all of their feeds so some of them are pre-soaked because they're our older boys who have issues with their teeth and then some of them just get water added on an evening just before and that is all mixed up And then it is just a case of going around and feeding every individual horse. So first up we have Chili Pepper because he's another diva of ours and he will kick off if he's not fed first and Chili likes to start fights with all the other horses. Well so we just feed him first to shut him up. So Chili's feed is smaller than the others as well because he gets three feeds a day due to having allergies and being on um, medication. So next up we have Lucy. So Lucy's got a pink bucket because we're trying to convince everyone she's a girl because apparently she doesn't look like a mare um, so yeah Lucy has hers next and then next up we have Danny so Danny eats really weird um, he wasn't doing it now because I had the door open but Danny like gets a mouthful of feed and then eats it with his mouth open on against the door he's a bit of an odd one um but i think it's because he kind of struggles with his teeth being an older boy he has got quite bad teeth so then once the three horses are fed i pop down to the field and feed the three ponies that live out so first up we have little caramel and she basically gets the smallest feed ever but we just feed her because the others get fed and for some reason she goes crazy about having the world's smallest feed so she eats that up and then next up we have my two boys so taffy gets fed first because he takes the longest to eat out of these two and then next up we have charlie now charlie loves absolutely nothing more than to eat this is his favorite time of day anytime he's either getting attention or eating this boy is happy so he's very very happy right now and then once Charlie's eaten, it really is just a case of me being sat in the field for five minutes waiting for Taffy to finish. Taffy has always been a slow eater, even when he was younger. And I'm pretty sure he takes his time because he knows that I'm sat there waiting for him to finish. And that is all of the horses fed. So I am going to leave this video here now. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload a video every single day at 12, apart from Sundays. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.